Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Mike Cockrell, and I want to thank you for joining me for another episode of Why Am I So Happy? My Prescription for Success and Happiness. In this series, what I have done is I am going through some of the essays uh, in my newest book, Why Am I So Happy? My Prescription for Success and Happiness, and sharing with you some of the thoughts and insights that were going on at the time that I wrote these essays, as well as updating you on where that information is in my mind, in my life today. If you've watched any of these episodes, you might recall that Why Am I So Happy is um, a compilation of roughly 40 plus um, essays that I put together over about a two-year period of time during a time when I was doing a lot of self-discovery and a lot of personal development work. Now, don't get me wrong, I do personal development work each and every day of my life because what I have found in my life particularly um, is that if I'm not working on myself, I'm not moving forward. I, one of the lessons that I learned early on, let me tell you just a quick story, is as a physician, I deal with people's problems, people's issues, people's concerns every day that I go to work. And early on in my career, it was very um, frustrating, I guess, so to speak, because people would come to me, they would tell me what was going on, I would create a solution, it's sort of like, I know what to do for this, we can fix this. And then we would sort of sit down together and lay out a plan, step one, step two, step three, here's what needs to happen in order to make this issue in your life better. And then I would see them a month later, two months later, three months later, and, and nothing was changing. Uh, they were still talking and having the same issues. And it's sort of like I begin to get frustrated as a physician because it's sort of like I have all this knowledge. I'm telling you what you need to do. But they weren't able to follow through and actually do it. And I took that personally. Um, after several years of that, I actually started some work on... Um, a personal development project, and I ran across one of the greatest mentors of all time, uh, the late Mr. Jim Rohn. And in some of his material and learning how to better improve myself, uh, it became evident to me that I was approaching things in the wrong way. I was I was literally giving a solution, trying to change someone, and I realized that I have no control over the other person. I can only change myself. So over the last few years, I have really done a lot of deep soul searching. I've really worked on trying not to be as frustrated because it's still frustrating from time to time when you, you have answers, uh, you have information that you think would benefit someone, but they're not ready to receive it. So what I have done in my own life is I've just made a commitment to share the knowledge. So what I do is I study each and every day, I'm constantly, I'm an avid reader, avid learner, constantly looking for new ideas, new solutions, uh, new theories on how to make myself a better person in this universe that we are operating in. And so my podcast, my blogging, my website, my books, the things that I share with you, the videos that I do, all of these are done not so much for you, but for me, because I realize that my vision is to take the information that I'm accumulating and put it back out there into the universe in hopes that at some point, someone may run across something that touches them, that inspires them, that triggers something within them for them to want to do more. And so that was sort of the inspiration behind this book, Why Am I So Happy?, it, it allowed me to take a couple of years worth of study and essays and information that I had compiled and put it together in one, one book, basically, so that it's easily accessible and, and readily available. And then what I'm doing in the episodes that you're seeing here is I'm going through some of those uh, essays and just sharing my thoughts about them, Okay. Today's episode is episode number four in this series, and it's called Creating Pathways in Your Mind. Now, this particular episode was inspired by this quote from Henry David Thoreau, and the quote goes like this. 
As a single footstep will not make a path on the earth, so a single thought will not make a pathway in the mind. To make a deep physical path, we walk again and again. To make a deep mental path, we must think over and over the kind of thoughts we wish to dominate our lives. That's a quote from Henry David Thoreau. And in my book, in the essay that I wrote that day, this, this is what I was thinking, and I'll share this essay with you too. I hope you're paying attention to this quote. I speak a lot about the power of your thoughts and how we create the lives we desire through the thoughts we think. This quote by Henry David Thoreau clarifies a point about this that I think we often overlook. In order to create those things you think about, you must not just think about them in a glancing manner. You must dwell on them. You must think about them over and over like wearing a deep rut in the path you're walking on. Without repetition and practice, you only leave a shallow footprint that is easily washed away by the rain. A well-worn path is only made through repeatedly walking and using that path over and over again for days, months, and years at a time. Are you wearing a path in your mind? Or are you traveling all over the place and never walking one path long enough for it to develop a rut? Now, I see this all the time in every aspect of my life, my clinical practice and my business life. All people want to have things right now. We want instant gratification. I don't want to have to wait for something to arrive in my life. I want it right now. That might happen to us from time to time, but that's not the norm when it comes to creating long-term success and happiness. I get really frustrated with young people sometimes, especially my own children, when it comes to this type of thinking. In the case of my children, they've been with Lisa and I along the path we've taken. They've seen the dedication, the perseverance that we have put into growing our business and developing, in our, developing our income over the past 20 years. Yet they seem to want everything we have and more, and they want it right now. Patience and persistence are two qualities that are quickly being lost by an entire generations of people. Unfortunately, these are character qualities that are essential to long-term success. I recently had conversations with two different gentlemen about business that relates to this attitude, so I'm going to share these with you now. One of the guys is a friend of mine that I have known for about 10 years. During that entire time, we have had numerous conversations about business ideas, and as he has always wanted to own his own business. He recently came to me and shared his thoughts about wanting to put a new gym in a local community about 30 miles from where we live. Since I am a partner of several very successful gyms, I was more than willing to talk to him about my experience. When I shared the story of how my business partner and I invested several hundred thousand dollars, signed our names on 10-year building leases, and then worked for three years before we were able to begin making money from the business, he looked at me as though I was lying to him. In his mind, I believe he had no idea about what it was going to take to build that type of business. He had done very little research on the market, and how many people he would need in his gym to support it, and he certainly was not thinking about the startup cost involved in building a brick and mortar business. The second gentleman I recently encountered was interested in an online marketing system that I used to grow multiple streams of income. His story was very similar. I received an email from him shortly after he responded to one of my ads that went something like this. I sure hope this is going to work for me. I'm tired of joining something and then getting hit with all these hidden costs. I politely sent him back an email wishing him the best of success, but also reminding him that an online business is just like a traditional business, except that your startup costs are usually lower and you have an instant global market. I believe this guy also had no idea what he is doing, and that is unfortunate. Every business has startup cost. Every business has maintenance cost. Some are just much greater than others. There is no such thing as a free lunch. Someone has to pay for that. Anyway, I shared these examples so that I can share this. If you want to create long-term success and happiness in your life, I believe that it is essential that you develop a long-term plan. I believe that once you start along the path towards fulfilling your plan, then you need to walk that path over and over until you're able to wear a rut so deep that you do not have to think about where the path is. You can even walk it with your eyes closed. Persistence and perseverance are essential tools to place into your success toolbox. Walk your path over and over again until you form a rut. 
You must do this physically and mentally with your thoughts in order to create the life you desire. You know, as I think back on that information now, I, honestly, that's that's still where my thoughts are today. It's it's important whatever you choose to do in life, whether you're trying to create better health, whether you're trying to create more wealth, or whether you're just looking to create happiness in your life, you have to understand that your thoughts create the path. So if you want to be successful, the first thing you have to do to be successful is change the way you think. Because when you change the way you think, the things you think about begin to change. And you begin to see a different path. And as you begin to walk along that path over and over and over and over and over, then you actually begin to form a rut in your mind that will allow you to begin to basically set things up on what I like to call autopilot. It becomes so much second nature to you that it just happens whether you're thinking about it or not. So today I'm going to challenge you to do one simple thing, <clears throat> and that is simply to start the process of changing your thoughts. Pay attention to the thoughts you have and you can do that very easily by paying attention to the words that come from your mouth. Because when you say something like, I'm fat, I can't do this, I'm not going to be able to make it, I'm not a success, I don't understand why I can't be... You are creating the wrong pathway in your mind. So you need to stop that right now and start thinking about what do I have to do to achieve the goals, the dreams, the vision that I want in my life. And you have to start thinking about those things in a positive manner every day so that you can begin to wear a well-worn path in your mind that will lead you to where you want to be. I hope you find this information beneficial. I hope you enjoy it. I would love uh, to hear your feedback about these topics. In fact, um, I'd love for you to share some information, give me some questions, you know, ask your questions. I'm going to show you in just a few minutes how you can connect with me, and I would love to hear from you. So that being said, I want to give a special thanks today to Chad Martin and Laurel Rose Publishing. They're the ones who have made my books possible. Uh, they're the ones who have uh, given me the the resources and the, the methods to put my podcast and my blogs and those kind of things into uh, actuality and bring those things to life. If you have a book or a story that you want to share, if you want more information on how to create a website, a blog, a podcast, Chad's the man who can answer those questions for you. You can find him at www.laurelrosepublishing.com. And as always, he will be happy to discuss any project you got going on from that standpoint. I also would encourage you to connect with me. Um, you can connect with me easiest on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Dr. Mike Cockrell. Uh, you can also find me on LinkedIn. Um, you can also email me directly at drmikecockrell at gmail.com. And you can find links to my blog, my podcast, and other resources that I use each day in my life at my website at www.drmikecockrell.com. Listen, I hope you find this information beneficial. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in your journey for personal development. And I hope that you are taking steps each and every day to create a better you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.